everyone, I'm Maddie and welcome back to my channel. I've got a question for you. Do you like chocolate? Well, I love to eat chocolate, especially around Easter time. My favourite are chocolate eggs. But have you ever wondered how Easter eggs are made? Well, I've come to Chococo's Chocolate Kitchen in Dorset to find out. Chococo make delicious chocolate all year round, but they're especially busy in the run-up to Easter. Here they make eggs wrapped in foil, chocolate bunny rabbits, big eggs, small eggs, eggs in boxes, even dinosaur eggs. That is a lot of chocolate. In fact, this year they will make so many chocolate eggs that if you stacked all of them one on top of the other, they would be taller than Mont Blanc, which is the highest mountain in Western Europe. Perhaps what's even more impressive is that every single one of their Easter chocolates are handmade, hand-decorated and hand-wrapped in 100% plastic-free packaging. But today we're going to find out how they make their milk chocolate ocean egg. You can't see them right now, but there are even chocolate turtles hidden inside the egg. But how is it made and how do the turtles get inside? It all starts with this. It's called Couverture chocolate and it arrives at the chocolate kitchen in buttons and bars. Look at it! It is enormous! The Couverture chocolate bars and buttons are made from three main ingredients and they all come from plants. They are cocoa beans, cocoa butter and cane sugar. Cocoa beans are the seeds of a cacao tree and I've got some models here of cocoa pods that grow on cacao trees. And if I open up this model of the cocoa pod, you can see the cocoa beans inside. And once these have been dried and roasted, they look just like this. And it's the cocoa beans that give chocolate its chocolatey flavour. Cocoa butter is found inside cocoa beans and it's a type of fat, so it's what makes chocolate smooth and creamy. And then finally, we have cane sugar that comes from a type of grass called sugar cane and this is what gives chocolate its sweetness. Chococo buy Couverture bars and buttons made with very high quality cocoa beans that have been grown by local people in countries such as Madagascar, Ecuador, Venezuela, Colombia, Tanzania and Uganda. The first stage of making an Easter egg happens here at this machine. It's called a tempering wheel. And tempering chocolate is really important. It's when solid chocolate is heated so that it melts, but then it's cooled slightly and heated again. Cooled and heated again. This is what we call tempering chocolate. And it means that when the melted chocolate finally cools and sets so that it's hard, the chocolate is shiny and it breaks with a lovely crack. If we melt chocolate too fast and let it set, it can be tacky and chewy. This tempering wheel is already filled with tempered chocolate, but it begins with those Couverture chocolate beans being put inside this part that looks a bit like a sink. This is Kev, one of the chocolatiers here, who is going to explain how this machine actually works. So what's going on inside here, Kev? So the machine itself is basically like a kitchen sink. Mm -hmm. uh, underneath is a heating element, right. so we can heat the chocolate to melt it, and we can regulate the temperature to cool it down as well. There's a wheel that spins around to keep the chocolate moving yep. and a paddle that scrapes across the bottom of the machine to make sure that no chocolate settles at the bottom. Okay. Uh, we also have a tap that we can attach so that we can then use the chocolate as it comes out as a small fountain. Can we make an egg? Absolutely, yeah. Great. So we fill the mould. We put it on here so that any air bubbles that are trapped at the bottom of the mould rise to the top. You didn't mention the vibrating plate. <laughs> I didn't know that was going to happen. <laughs> then tip the mould over so the chocolate drains from underneath. We then clean the mould off, put it down on the paper. So how long will you leave that first layer to set? It'll take about 10 minutes to set. OK, and then once that's set after 10 minutes, you then do a second layer? Yeah, we'll do another layer. OK. And then we do a third layer as well. So you've got three layers of chocolate to make sure you've got a nice chunky chocolate Easter yeah. egg. Make sure that egg's as nice and solid as possible yeah. and good to eat. Can I have a go? Absolutely. OK, I'm filling it. Filling it. Tell me when, tell me that's when. That's it, that's fine. Scrape it off. Yep. This looks like something I would uh, do wallpapering with. Am I going this way? Yep, onto the white plate, yep. So the vibrations are get, getting rid of all of those bubbles. The bubbles are rising to the top. And then we flip it and over. And then I'm going to flip it. Yep. Oh no, oh no. 
You made that look so easy. <laughs> that's done. Yep, that's it. Scrape off the excess. Yep. Can I? Are we good? That's it, that's fine, yep. That's quite stressful. <laughs> It's been about 10 minutes and the first layer has nearly set, which means it's time to put another layer of chocolate inside. So it's exactly the same process. Exactly the same, we're just building up the layers to strengthen the egg. That is a thick egg. It's a thick egg. <laughs> Two more layers to come, yeah. Nice. While we wait for that second layer to set, let me tell you why the ocean egg is so special. And that's because money from the sale of the egg is going to a charity called the Ocean Giants Programme. And this charity worked really hard to protect some of the ocean's largest and most threatened species. That includes animals like the whale shark, dolphins, manta rays, even turtles. And they also help to support students who are studying the ocean and will go on to become our next generation of marine scientists. But to turn that into an ocean egg, we need to hide some chocolate sea creatures inside. So here we have some ready-made chocolate turtles and starfish, which are going to get stuck to the inside of the egg when we put in the third layer. All right, Kev, show me how this is done. So we've got the starfish and the turtles ready. So we yep. just flip the mold over. They will fall out. Hey, there they are. And the same with the turtles. They are so cute. So we're going to do the third layer mm -hmm. and then we'll stud the shapes inside. So you call this studding? Studding the shapes, yeah. Alrighty. So this is exactly the same as before? Exactly the same before, it's just the third layer so the egg's nice and strong. Ah, so the inside is now nice and sticky. Ready to stick the shapes in. Got it. So we have four starfish that go down the middle. And then the turtles sit either side. That is so exciting to crack open the egg and find those on the inside. Because you don't expect Absolutely. it, do you? No. That's so sweet. Your turn. My, my go. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Hang on. Yep. I think that's an improvement. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Third layer. Just, just agree with me, Kev. <laughs> So it was four down the middle. Yep. I am concentrating so much here. So that's four starfish. And how and many turtles are we two, doing? Two turtles either side. Okay. Two turtles. There. Perfect. Yeah? Yep. That was really fun. When that third layer that's been studded with the chocolate turtles and the starfish has completely set and is solid, it's ready for the two halves to be stuck together. So what Kev's doing is he's taking the two halves out of the moulds, he's then rubbing the halves on a hot plate, which melts the chocolate around the edges just a little bit till they become sticky like a glue. And that means he can stick those two halves together and then pop them on top of a cup just to leave them to completely dry. Jackie is the head chocolate artist at Chococo and it's her job to decorate every single Easter egg. And she does that using a type of cocoa butter paint. To make those cocoa butter paints, Jackie melts these, which are a mixture of cocoa butter and natural colours, which we call pigments. These red ones here are made using beetroot. This blue colour, that comes from spirulina, which is a type of algae. And this yellow colour comes from something called curcumin, which comes from a root called turmeric. When Jackie melts these down, they become the paints. She can use the colours by themselves or she can mix them to make any colour she wants. So this brush mm -hmm. is called a wisp brush. A wisp So brush. it's a special type of brush. Mm -hmm. It's like cut into the ends. So when you make a brush stroke, you get the little lines like that rather than a thick brush stroke. Wait, so like ocean waves? Yes. Okay, that's the idea. So then just do it really lightly and just Flowing. Is that okay, do you think? Yeah. That's it. It'll show up more when we put the finishing touch on with the glitter as well. So it's supposed to be the sea, so it can be free flowing. Random, yeah. So they're the blue ocean waves. Yeah. Let those dry, and then we do the same with the whites. That's right. All right. So start there, and don't be afraid to cross over your blue. 
That's it. That's really good. It's a bit heavy handed, but it's good. not It's not awful. No, it's not. Wait till we put the speckles on. <laughs> okay. So now, literally, mix the colour up yeah. with your toothbrush. Knock the colour off the edge, mm -hmm. or else we'll get drips everywhere that we mm -hmm. don't want. And you're literally going to push the colour off the toothbrush and try and get nice big dollops. Nice spattering. That's it. Oof. So go a bit further away from the egg and then you'll get a better coverage. That's better. Oh, you're right. <sighs> we'll just that's, we'll ignore the splodge. Yeah, nobody will see that. No one will see that one no, at all. No, one more step to go. And what's so that? So we put some edible glitter over it to make it sparkle. Lovely. Last but not least, the chocolate egg is carefully wrapped in layers of tissue paper before it's put inside a recyclable cardboard box so it can be sent to homes and shops across the country. So this is it, a finished milk chocolate ocean egg. And of course, I couldn't say goodbye without cracking it open. So let's take it out of its packaging. Oh, I tell you what, that is heavy. You get a good bit of chocolate in that. Wow. Yes. How shall I crack it open? Here we go. And look what's inside. You can see the chocolate turtles and the starfish ready to be gobbled up by me. Thank you so much to Chococo for showing me around their chocolate kitchen. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this one. Have a very happy Easter. Enjoy your chocolate if you're going to be eating some. Stay curious and I'm sure I'll see you very soon. Bye. <laughs> They're so mean. That is delicious. Happy Easter.